Hello everyone, this video is going to be how to add text and images and stuff into your um, edupreneur online course type videos. So um, this basically came out, a question was asked in my Facebook group, Entrepreneur to Edupreneur, um, how do we add pictures and text boxes um, to our videos? Now there are much more complex ways of doing this that I'm going to go into today. There's a million different ways that you can do this, but I'm just going to show you one way <laughs> um, and hopefully it's just going to show you how simple it actually is and um, give you the confidence to basically go and start playing with different technology. Now the one I'm going to show you today is called Camtasia, Camtasia Studio 8. Um, this is the one I use for doing all of my film editing. It is a bit more expensive than some of the other ones out there. Um, this one costs will cost you about $250, $300, something like that to uh, purchase this once off. Uh, it does give you a license to use it on um, two different devices. So it's cool because I have this downloaded on my laptop for when I'm out and about um, and as well for uh, on my PC. So I use this for editing all of the videos that I do and uh, it, it didn't take much learning um, really it was pretty simple but basically this is what happens I'm going to show you basically how to add some pictures and uh, some text pop-ups to a green screen video so um, what I've got here is um, basically you go to import media and you literally just drag and drop your content over into into this working box here it's that simple so I've drag and dropped a couple of things in here they're completely random none of them go together it's just purely a demo for you um, and you'll see down here you've got a bunch of tracks now tracks um, are also known as layers and basically when we're putting um, a piece of film with a PowerPoint slide with an image with a text box what we are actually doing is layering content one thing on top of another on top of another now what piece of content goes on the bottom is the piece of content that will be behind me if that makes sense so what I want you to imagine here is um, if I want this PowerPoint to be behind me I'm gonna put that down first because then I will literally go on top of the PowerPoint so the video will go on top of this slide which means that track one is the bottom layer that's this one here and whatever I want to be on top of that, which in this case will be my head talking, goes in the next layer. So I'm then gonna drop me on over the top. So you can see here at the moment, I've got a green screen. So I filmed this um, in my home studio, which is my kitchen. <laughs> um, and basically this is how easy this is. So you go to more, you go to, uh, oh, we've already got visual properties open. There's a little box here called remove a color. So we click on remove a color and I already had it set to remove the green, da-da. So literally it was the click of a button. It was just the click of a button, guys. That is how easy it is to remove the green screen. So you see here's a bit of fuzz around my head. So that's what these buttons are for. You see here, if you move them about it changes the way that your um, your image looks obviously I had down there some of the green shows back up again so it's all about just fiddling around to kind of get this right you don't want to have any of the green there but also we don't want any of this fuzz around your head so um, I'm not going to go sitting around making this perfect right now this is just a demo video but you can see here just how easy that was to do using using this Camtasia software so um, yeah I'm not going to fuss about with that too much right now but simply just pulling that up and down will get that right so let's pretend we made that perfect um right uh, let's pretend now so here's me by the way um what you can see here now is when you click on the blue that's when you're editing the thing that's blue when you click on the thing that's what on see I want to touch the PowerPoint now I have to click on the PowerPoint so I'm just going to drag the PowerPoint all the way to the end now what that will mean is as we scroll through and I like you see I've got this clip where the edge of the video is I'm just going to crop this a little bit so that it just gets rid of that altogether so that I won't have that problem um right so basically by dragging the the PowerPoint image which by the way is just a JPEG it's just a screenshot of my PowerPoint okay it's nothing special it's literally a screenshot of my PowerPoint by dragging it to the end of the video it literally means that that thing that one slide will stay behind me throughout the whole video and then it finishes now if um for instance you can see that um, in the audio here there's a little gap which means I probably start talking about something else so I'm just going to turn that on okay well I had a I obviously paused but let's pretend I moved to a different slide there just for the sake of this now what I'm going to do is click on the thing I want to edit so that it's blue now that means that the PowerPoint slide is the thing that I'm moving um, just go back to our import media screen here now let's say I want this slide to go in next maybe that's the next slide I started talking about and let's say I talk about it till there um, then I just literally drag the PowerPoint to there and that means that that slide comes up behind me and then it stops and then let's say that this one comes next then I move on to a different slide and that one goes all the way to the end so um, you can see here now this I can't move that particular PowerPoint look because I'm clicked on the video I need to click on that particular PowerPoint slide 
and that means I can edit that one there. You can see I'm a bit in a funny position. Um, then we scroll along, scroll along, and there comes the other one. So I'm gonna click on that slide, drag that one to the edges, just make sure it's all nice and neat. You get the point, okay? So now I've got my presentation with my slides in behind me, which are just screenshot, just screenshot JPEGs. That's it. Da -da 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 okay, so cool. We've got all of our little slides there. Right, now that we've done that, what we're gonna do is let's add a pop-up. Let's say we wanna get someone to go to our website. Now I'm not gonna do this, make this pretty, <laughs> but I'm gonna show you again just how easy this is. Sorry, we're gonna go to uh, we're gonna go to call outs. And you can see here that there's lots of different types of call out things you can do. Now these two buttons here make things blurry. So if you're doing screencasting, um, which is showing your screen, obviously you might be showing things that have confidential information, stuff like that. So you can just add in these boxes, which make, make something blurry. So you can see it's popped up there. I can basically just blur that bit out if I wanted to. Um, and that could only last for a little bit, or I could drag that out for that whole entire slide so that you know I don't want that bit to show, for instance. Okay, I'm just gonna delete that one for a second. I just pressed delete. Um, but let's say we want to do let's just do a, a random box actually we want that to start from the beginning so in our random box we're going to have um, <laughs> buy my stuff all right uh, we're gonna we can change the color of this like we can change the box to green um, we can change the font just like anything change the size of the font really quite as simple as that right so I'm just gonna oops highlight that so it goes up a bit Okay, more oh, we want buy my stuff to be bigger. Yeah, let's make it massive. Um, cool, so we've got the box that says buy my stuff. Um, that's gonna pop up there. And for instance, I might wanna move it to over here. I can drag that out for as long as I want. So you can see I can make that last for the whole video. Um, so you can see I'm talking away. Yabba yabba yabba. Buy my stuff! <laughs> and then it will finish, it will fade out here. Oh, thanks for buying my stuff. Okay, and then we can even go copy and make another one and we can pop that over there so that when they finish watching my amazing video, guess what happens then? It goes, oh, buy my stuff. Cool, okay, and you can move that wherever you want. Like it can literally go everywhere. Like, oh, so it's that easy, bam. So all I do then is I go produce and share. You can choose um, how you want to save it. Do you want to literally save it straight to your Google Drive and you can import it into your school or you know, what what one of these do you want to save it as? And it's that simple, I just press save. And I'm not gonna save this because I just completely made this up. All right, so that's it. That's easy as that. That's how you add pictures and things. Um, if I wanted to add another picture, um, or do import media. Um, I'll just go to, I'm just gonna pick downloads here. I'm just gonna pick a random picture. Um, there you go, a bit of virtual reality. <laughs> Let's stick that bad boy in there. Um, so again, I'll just just uh, make this little bad boy pop up. And look, that one will just pop up there. Oh, hello. So um, yeah, I can just go, da -da, pop that in. And as I'm going through, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, video pops up for a minute. There we go, that one can't throw my stuff. The end, happily ever after. Cool, guys, so look, easy as that. I hope that um, shows you just how easy it can be. Go and have a play. This isn't the only software out there. That's not the only way of doing it, but it's one way of doing it. So I hope that helps, bye. By the way, totally forgot to say, if you wanna learn more about how to create your own online courses, you might wanna take my online course on how to create online courses. Um, I'll put the link below. Um, a lot of people always say, how do I learn all this stuff? You know, it's um, there's, there's tips on YouTube, there's tips here, there's tips everywhere, but putting it all together is really, really hard. Guys, I've got a whole online course on not only how to plan your course, how to film your course, how to do all the editing of your course, uh, but also how to promote market and sell your course too. So um, if you enjoyed this and you want a bit more help, just get in touch and I'll send you the link. Bye.